Let's start by having you solve these four problems. So go ahead and pause the video, work out one through four, and then unpause when you're ready to check your work. Okay, so you've learned in previous years that um, anything divided by itself is equal to one. So five divided by five equals one. We could think of this as if I have five apples and I wanna make a group of five, how many groups can I make? Just one. So for number two, it says X divided by X. Well, anything over itself is one. It doesn't matter if it's a number or a variable, it stays true. The same for number three, a decimal 1.75 or one and 75 hundredths divided by 1.75 is still one. And number four, negative 895 divided by negative 895 is one. So let's use this to see what we can discover about exponents. So you've learned your product property. Let's see if we can figure out what the quotient property is. So let's say I have two times two times two, and I wanna divide that by two. Pause the video and see what you get. Okay, so you might have done this one of two ways. You might have said two times two times two is eight. And then on the bottom, we just have two. And eight divided by two is four. Or some of you may have looked at this as, oh, well, anything that's over itself is one. And since I'm multiplying in my numerator, I could say that this is two over two times two times two. Well, two over two is one. So I can just cross this out and think of this as one times two times two. Well, two times two times one is four. Either way, you get the same answer. So now let's think about this in terms of exponents. So let's see, two to the sixth divided by two to the fourth. See if you can take a minute to pause the video and solve that one for yourself. Okay, so we could expand two to the sixth by writing out two times itself six times. And then on the bottom, I have two times itself four times. Anything that's divided by itself is one. So now I can think about crossing these out and making this a one, crossing these out, making that a one, crossing these out and crossing these out. So now I just have one times one times one times one times two times two. So if I multiply, I get four. Interesting, right? Two times two is four. Let's think about these two times two. Let's think about this exponentially. Repeated multiplication can be represented with exponents. So we could think about this term as two to the second. So now I want you to think about the relationship between what we started with and what we ended with. Go ahead and pause the video and see if you could write a rule for dividing exponential terms with the same base, but different exponents. Okay, so let's try out your rule. So whatever you wrote down as your rule, let's test it. Let's test your theory on a couple of questions. So solve this one according to the rule you wrote and see what you get. So my rule is that I'm thinking once I actually write out, expand my exponential term, and then I write out the ones on the bottom, and then I go through and cross them out. The relationship that I'm finding is that I can just subtract eight minus seven, and that'll give me my new exponent. So that's actually the rule for the quotient property of integer exponents. So whenever you are dividing exponential terms that have the same base but a different exponent, you can subtract your exponents.